Jimmy has printed out logs. We're going to hide some new caches and find some as well. That's what we're doing now. The car in front of us, there's someone dancing inside. I don't know if you can see it, but... Zoom in on it. I did. I'm zoomed in all the way. You should get it, um, like a zoom lens for your, uh... <laughs> flip? Foot cam, yeah. She's not dancing as much as she was before. But, you know, they're from Texas, and they do everything bigger in Texas, including dancing in cars. You may recognize that beat-up trail behind me. It's because we're here again. Um, there's, I think, eight in the Wheel It or Walk It series. There's nine. There's nine. I found four of them yesterday. Uh, on this side of the road, there's five, and on the other side, I guess there's four. Um, there's a couple I haven't found yet either, so I'm yeah. going to go for that one. And there's another one too. I think. So what's happening now is I have to go past one, two, three, and four so I can find the fifth one. And I didn't do that yesterday because I encountered a mountain lion or something with eyes yesterday. Probably a raccoon. Or a bunny rabbit. Or a deer. Or a deer. There's like a footprint right there. That might be a dog tra track. Maybe. But anyway, there was some was animal, dog. and I didn't quite want to, you know, the coyote. A find coyote. out. Maybe it was a coyote. I don't know what it was. I didn't really want to find out what it was. So I just turned around, and I came back. But now it's daytime, and they're not out, and I can... If they are, I can see them better. I just saw eyes. I didn't know what it was. So, I'm going to go... It's .6 miles this way. And Jimmy has to find one, which is .4 miles this way. So we're going to be a Separating. mile apart. But we'll have walkie-talkies. Yeah. Oh, do you want to yep. see the... Do you want to see the... Do you want to see the map so you know where you're going? I have a... Um... Well, you have a line, but... I'll show you the trails on here. On there. Alright, it's been a little while. I'm, I've got about 360 feet left to go to get to the cache, but this is about where I was. I was using my flashlight, I was looking around, and I shined my light up there, and I saw eyes looking back at me. And I was like, I'm close, but I still gotta go 300 feet this way, and I don't really feel like going any closer because. You know, it's kind of scary when you just see eyes and you don't know what it is. So I turned around from this point and I started walking the half mile or more back that way. And the cache is right there. See? So, yeah, I probably wouldn't want to have gotten this close. But anyway, got it now, so that's cool. Now, let's see if, I can, if Jimmy's still within radio distance. Jimmy, can you hear me? Maybe not. Hmm. Oh well. No, I'll be there red. Walking through the creek. I'll live there salt creek. Mm-hmm. I wonder how deep this creek goes. Uh-huh. Pretty deep creek. Mm-hmm. You're deep there in all the feet. Maybe my shot wouldn't get wet. Mm-hmm. We're getting deeper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> y'all don't know what this creek be like, y'all. A retin shelf, a retin bath. Mm hmm. That's what you call a retin bath. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm recording because we're making up a song with a what's available. There was a maraca in the cache and there's some sticks.
Awesome song. That's like the newest shrivel skin masterpiece. Right Number there. one hit right there. What should we call it? Uh, Wheel it or walk it number six. <laughs> we could call it. Um, oh no, this is number seven. This is, yeah, and we could call it like. We O E. W I O W I. Yes. It sounds like a Native American word. We O E. We O E. We O E. We O E. So there's a giant tank and there's a hole in it because it's abandoned, I guess. And the, my GPS is pointing to go this way. So. I'm gonna just go in here, I guess. Should I point it this way so you can like see? Yeah. Huh. Hard to get in there. Whoa. Rusty and dusty. That sounds so weird. Rusty. Is it in here? Uh, yeah. So we were walking on the trails, and uh, we were done, we were heading back to the truck, and I realized that there's a, a little trail that kind of goes into a residential area. So we took it, and we accidentally, there was a fence in the way, and when we opened the fence, we were in some guy's front yard. So we just kind of walked to the street, and now we're just going this way, because this way will be faster to get home. Or not home, but faster to get to the truck. And it's about five now, right? About five. Four fifty-four. Four fifty-four. Like I said, almost five. We started at three, so basically we've been walking pretty much non-stop for about two hours. The only times we stopped was when we stopped to find a cache, and usually it was only a few minutes, except for that one in the tank where we recorded for a while. But anyway, we're almost back to the truck, and then we'll do something, something else. What do you want to say? Might hide a cache. Might eat something. Definitely, Who knows? Definitely eat something. Yeah, it's unpredictable. Like you don't know where Mike's video is gonna go. You could never be know. Anything. Could be anything. And it could be like the next scene. It could be like we're in the middle of this. Natural disaster could be like tornadoes and it could be really exciting, or it might not be. We uh, ordered a pizza at Round Table. They said it'd be 25 minutes, so we're like, "There's caches close by. Let's get them." This one's called Welcome. Like Welcome to Reading. I think actually that's what it says. Yes, Reading. Jimmy take found it anyway? Him. Yeah, let's take it anyway. Here you go. This was in it. This is a collectible item. Cool. What is oh, that? Oh, wait. It's a, it is a trackable. This one is? Yeah. It's oh, it's a fake one. Yeah. But it's, it's still trackable. That's cool. I just noticed the number. I didn't recognize it at first. I thought it was someone's, uh, what's it called? Someone's signature uh, item? Yeah. Cool. Alright. Got our pizza. Mountain Dew. Pepper flakes. Parmesan cheese. And Jimmy. to get a uh, geocache that is uh, really close by, but um, we can't because 
There's a cop right there. And we it's, don't want it's them. actually like right there too. Two hundred. Yeah, right there. Ninety feet. Right now. Yeah. It's, yeah. We don't want them being all suspicious. New cash. The Just new published. Yeah, we were looking for a place to. Um, Hide the cash ourselves. And when you were just saying, you know, we should probably wait till it gets a little bit lighter. Yeah, lighter. Oh, we might do it tomorrow and or something. One just published, so, so we're going for this one instead. We're like, it's like, okay, let's leave. Let's just go for this one. Yes. Hopefully, we get the first find. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if there's someone already there once we get there. So we just drove here and uh, started walking up the hill. We didn't see any cars at the base. So we're assuming we're first to find. I haven't checked yet. There it is. The title of the cache is Got Milk. It's like a wooden milk crate. That's weird. That's really cool. Like a creative hide ant on it. There's supposed to be a TV in there, so if you see the TV, mm. five dollars? Whoa. Mm-hmm. That's a good prize. And there's oh and a TV. Awesome. Log. Yeah. It's a blank log. Uh-huh. That's that's the interpretation. Oh. Another cache just published. And we're about a mile away. Wait, yeah, we're about a mile away. And uh, um yeah, it just published right after we found the other one. We, we found, found we found one in between. Yeah, we found we another like, okay, cache. Let's go home. Yeah, we're and like another one published. Yeah, so we're going to find this one too. Hopefully, be the first to find. Two first to finds in one night. That's cool. yeah. Uh, hopefully, another one will be published right after we find this one. Oh, like, look, somebody awesome. behind us is turning the same way. <gasps> oh no! I bet you they're going for it. Probably not probably live here or something. Somebody already found it. Yeah. It was uh, it was over back there. But we got to meet another cashier. Oh, you're making a video. I didn't know that. I thought you were like, we should say this. Yeah. Somebody already found it. What they was his name? Live to Ride. Oh, yeah. His, uh, um, his lights just went around the corner. Live, like L-I-V-E. Yeah, two. live to ride. Live to ride. Yeah. Well, at least we got to meet someone, you know. <laughs> and he, he already found the milk carton one, too. Yeah, he found it after us. Yeah, right afterwards. Like, that's pretty... People cool. are fast to get the first to find. I know, I, I told you. Enter five digit zippers. Enter when done. Doesn't make any sense. It's late. Well, not too late. It's like 8:20. We're still catching. Uh, if I find this one, it will be number 697. No, something like that. It's close. I'm almost at my 700. So, okay. Still going. Found two more. So now, I believe, I am up to 699 finds. The next one will be my 700 milestone. Mike is getting his 700th find. It's called What Can Brown Do For You? And since Mike works for UPS, he will just grab that as his 700th find. I don't think it would be in here. Because if it wasn't in there, that'd be really hard to grab on. Let's see. It's probably underneath it. I if it's the same code as the other I, one. I know exactly where it is, so... What? Yep, that's where it is. What? It's hard to get it out. I don't even see you it. You'll see what I mean? <laughs> Look, shine your flash, you'll see oh. it in the video. <laughs> there it is. I just like, kind of gave away where it was. <laughs> cool, that was an interesting hide. 700. Ugh. 1131. 
still caching. I'm trying to get to my 600. Mike already got to his 700 a long time ago, so he's, he was like, let's go. Let's go get your 600 so we can get our milestones on the same day. And so that's what we're doing. Last cache of the day is called Laszlo Brio at the airport. This will be Jimmy's 600th find, so we're going to go find it now. We're at the end of a runway. It's pretty awesome. That's it. Lazo Bureau at the ar air park. It's a pen with a log in it. Yeah, it was hidden right there. Under a rock. And I just lifted the rock and saw a pen right there. Like, what the heck? There's a millipede, too. Oh, or yeah, a centipede. Yeah, centipede. That's cool. That's weird how it's just like a pen. Oh, crap. Oh, did you break it? <laughs> I broke it, I think. Sounded like I It did. may have been a stick. Oh, yeah. But yeah, you better be careful not to break it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, there's two little red lights over there. That's the... Uh, the airport. Near home.